Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation versus NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Which one is going to work? Which one is better? We're going to try these out today and we're going to have a little bit of a foundation battle. So stick with me as we get into this video. Hi friends, I'm so glad that you're with me today because we are testing out two foundations that have hit the market very recently. We're putting them up against each other, which would be better for mature skin. And let's find out how the application is, how the wear time is, and how it looks on mature skin with wrinkles, texture, dark spots, all those kind of goodies. We're gonna find that out today. I will, as always, go ahead and throw up a picture here of my shirt so that you can see it. This is a very comfortable, lightweight, t-shirt but it has a little bit extra on it so it dresses you up just a little bit and then as always i will also link my earrings for you this is a kind of a brushed silver look really pretty i also have a link to my little pinky finger and my ring finger rings and so i will make sure i link all of those all of the products that i use today will be listed and linked below in a number style system so each product that i show you today will have a number next to it you can just jot down that number if you're interested in that product then go in open up the description box and all the products will be numbered one to however many we get to and you'll be able to shop that way for what I talk about in the video also I will link all of the other makeup that I wear right underneath that list so that you can see that as well so if you're new to my channel or if you've been around my channel for a while but you haven't subscribed I would love it if you would subscribe because I am pushing really hard to get to a hundred thousand I'm just a few thousand away from that mark and I am so excited to get there because I'm really hungry for that silver plaque i really want that plaque plus i think it's a great milestone i've been on youtube for six years this month in april i'm excited to reach that goal and continue on for more goals here with you guys let's get into the battle so you can see which one i like more which one more better and how i feel about these foundations that are pretty darn similar to each other. Let's do this right now. To begin with, I use the Revlon Photo Ready Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing Primer. This is such a good primer for just filling in those pores, making your skin look as nice as it possibly can before you use your foundation. And we're going to put NARS on this side right here. I have the color Vienna. And both of these say to make sure you shake them well. So we're gonna do that for sure. Sure. And I'm going to do one pump and I will show you the coverage on each one. And then we will do another pump and I'll show you the coverage on each one. Well, maybe we'll do two pumps because none came out. So <laughs> barely any came out of that one. So I feel like this isn't a really full pump on this one, but we'll go with it. I'm going to spray my brush with some of this CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Priming Glow Mist. I don't feel like this gives you a glow, but it is very hydrating, has no alcohol in it. And I'm just going to pick up all of that foundation and I'm going to kind of pat it around on this side and just start to distribute it. This is a little bit light color for me because I bought it one before I started to self tan, which was silly because this really is quite a summertime foundation. So I should have bought it in a little bit darker color, but we'll bronze up to try and make it look better. Okay, with the brush, it spreads out very nicely. This is kind of a thin formula. It's not very thick at all. I can tell you right now that I'm going to have to use another pump just for my neck and my decollete, and I'm having to use two pumps because obviously this comes out very little at a time. Hopefully you can see this isn't really covering up my big dark spots that are out here, but it's got a pretty nice coverage. For it being a fairly light foundation, you know, a light texture foundation, it really does have a pretty coverage. So if you're just wanting a uh, medium coverage, you get that from this. Now I'm gonna put one more on, one more coat on here so that we can see what the full coverage will look like with it. It doesn't have the claims of being a full coverage, but boy, I feel like it really does have a nice full coverage to it. And so again, I'm just going to dot, especially in these areas where I have so much discoloration 
and then I'm just going to trail it around. All right, so really covered everything up. I actually did put the same amount on my hand, but I didn't have to pick it up to put that on there because it covered so, so well. So beautiful foundation so far on that one. Now let's switch over to the Makeup Forever. I'm going to take a minute and I'm going to wipe my brush off so that the makeup doesn't get contaminated with the NARS one. All right, let's spray that brush. And here is the Makeup Forever. My color is, I have no idea what my color is, but I'll make sure I put it on the screen for you. Okay, two pumps. Again, this didn't come out very heavily. So two pumps, and that is about how much I have. I will pick some of that up and go ahead and start dotting it around. Now, I feel like, and I've tested these extensively. I love the way that the NARS looks when it first goes on your skin. It's beautiful. Um, I do love the way that the Makeup Forever looks when it first goes on your skin. I feel like it's beautiful as well. They really have the same kind of finish. The Makeup Forever might be just a tiny bit more coverage than the NARS one on your first application, but really they look so similar to each other on the second coat. So the first application would be plenty if you're somebody that loves a medium light coverage with the Makeup Revolution, with the Makeup Forever. It's just such a beautiful coverage. It really does cover a lot of the dark spots. I have a really bad dark spot right out here. If I pounced on that with my brush, I could probably really hide that. And then spray that brush one more time. We'll get one more pump on there, wrong one. We'll get one more pump on there of the Makeup Forever. I hope I didn't say Makeup Revolution through this a whole bunch because I just caught myself. So I'm gonna go down my neck and my chest and get rid of that discoloration. And I'm gonna bring up whatever is left over and put it onto the rest of the skin. Now I'm just gonna take a dampened beauty sponge. You can use whatever you have. I'm gonna go into the spots where everything settles for me. And I'm going to just go over everything and make sure that there's no excess that will settle. And I just want it to look perfected as well. So both of them, they're just beautiful in their finish. I'm hoping that you can see this well. It just covers like a dream both of them do on first application they feel very hydrating they both feel very much like each other i and like i said the nars has lighter coverage than the makeup forever i do feel like you get much more coverage from the makeup forever than you do the nars but the nars will build up to look almost identical to it so i really feel like this just gives you that perfected canvas it's so pretty i'm going to go in with my kosas concealer and i'm going to put that on Kosas is my very favorite. I kind of just spread that around. I'm letting that sit for a second. The very lightest color that they have, I am putting into the inner corner here to bring a lot of light into that area. And I will just blend that with my finger since I don't have all my brushes over here. While I'm waiting for that concealer to set, I'm gonna take the Pretty Fresh Powder from ColourPop. I have Light 6, one of my favorite newfound discoveries. I'm just gonna pick up some of this powder on this brush and I'm gonna set down in these areas where I get the settling and I get a lot of texture as well. So I'm just gonna kinda really dab my face here. I'm not picking up a lot of extra product. I'm just kind of, you know, pushing it around to give my pores a little bit more look of being refined. I love that powder. It's, oh my goodness, I love that powder. By the way, this is just an old angled uh, blush brush that I use for that. Now I'm gonna go off of camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my concealer and all of the rest of my makeup. And I will be right back to talk to you about these and what I think of them. All right, except for the setting spray, which I'm gonna continue to use that priming spray that I used earlier with the cover girl. Except for that, everything was done. So what are my thoughts on this? First of all, you know Know that I have health issues. So I'm not going to be able to record later in the day. What I will do is I'll take a picture. I'll insert them side by side right here and I'll label them which was which so that you can see how each of them were on each side of the skin. So my end thoughts on both of these foundations are these. I have worn both of them for five days each and I do believe that I like the Makeup Forever just a little bit more. It covers with one coat, which means that when you put one coat on, you're not going to have to go back in and take the chance of your makeup looking cakey with two coats. The NARS is very pretty. It does have a little bit of that luminosity, that light reflect 
reflecting property to it like it says on the bottle but it doesn't feel like it's dewy at all or anything like that so it really looks beautiful when you first put it on i do feel like the nars doesn't wear as well throughout the day as the makeup forever it kind of broke apart a little bit you could see it settling into some of my lines around my face if it's a very warm day you're going to find it uh, breaking apart just a little bit more. That being said, I still like the NARS very much. I think that it has its place in a very kind of sheer medium category for the mature woman. I think that it's beautiful. Now the Makeup Forever HD Skin, I just felt like this performed like an absolute dream. It went on beautiful with one application. I really couldn't, you know, see very much of my dark spots or my texture. It didn't accentuate any of that. It just makes your face as a canvas look just so primed and ready for your other makeup. It's absolutely beautiful. This will, I can get it to wear for 10 to 12 hours without even looking like it's worn. And now I did take a nap in this one day <laughs> and it just looked beautiful. I am a hard napper too. I mean, I don't like take a nap where I'm just, you know, laying there with my arms crossed. I'm like the full on, you know, napper with my face in the pillow and stuff. So this held up really well. I'm not going to tell you that it didn't come off at all. It came off a little bit, but nothing like the NARS did. So this is going to be your uh, medium coverage right off the bat. And then it's going to build up if you need it to be the full coverage. Wears like a dream. It's so pretty on your skin. I cannot say enough good about it. So out of the two, I do prefer the Makeup Forever, but if you don't have access to it, I really do feel like the NARS comes in at a really good second. I will continue to wear both of these. I don't feel like the NARS is a second class where I need to take it back. I do really love it, and I feel like there are days when I will especially enjoy this, especially as the weather gets a little bit cooler because I feel like the Makeup Forever is going to hold up during the summer months just a little bit. So those are my thoughts. Please let us all know down in the comment section if you have tried either one of these and what your thoughts are or if you have both of them and you have a favorite out of the two of them we would really like to know that in the comment section as well so everyone on your way out of here please give this video a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind i would really appreciate that hope you are all doing very well and you're happy and you're healthy take care of yourselves let's come back together very soon in my next video i love you friends Bye bye